everybody welcome back to my channel the lotus doll shops balanced lifestyle channel thanks for clicking on today so um we're just gonna be doing a couple of eyeshadow hacks that i've seen in and around the internet some on instagram some a little bit here and there um before we get started make sure you hit that subscription subscription button hit the notification bell so that youtube can let you know every time that i post a new video so uh i'm kind of excited because uh two of these i haven't tried yet so we're just gonna see how they're gonna work out so let's get started okay so um guys before we get started i just want to let you know that i'm not going to call this a tutorial because like i said <laughs> two of these i haven't even tried yet so i just kind of want to play around and see um how they're going to turn out um these eyeshadow hacks kind of make things a little easier when you just want to get a little color on whether you want to do you know a more glamorous eye or just a regular everyday eye so um like I said, not a tutorial. We're just gonna try a couple of eyeshadow hacks that make applying your eyeshadow a little bit easier. Um, as you can see, I've done my face. I don't have any blusher or highlighter on. What I wanted to do is, um, because I've already blended in my concealer, I'm just gonna put a little bake underneath my eye. Uh, just in case we have a little fallout now okay i'm gonna be using this alamar cosmetics peril primero primer long wear sticky pigment base so we're gonna do that we're gonna put that on each eye and i'm just gonna be using my finger for that now i think what i'm gonna be doing because i've never done an eyeshadow hack video i'm just gonna do one eye at a time and show you the different techniques so i'm gonna start over here with the right eye i find that the pigment um the sticky stuff kind of helps that your eyeshadow stick real well. Okay, so um, the first one that I am going to attempt to do, guys, is the spoon cut crease. Uh, I saw this one online. I mean, a lot of ladies have been trying it um, online, and I, I really wanted to try it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this LA girl pro artistry eyeshadow palette this is what it looks like and we are just gonna get started with this now this one guys I know for sure has a little bit of fallout but you know we're gonna work where we can work anyway. and I just grabbed one of my morphe eyeshadow brushes um, morphe has some really really great um, eyeshadow brush sets they have brush sets, brush sets period because morphe is just really great at makeup so um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to start by using this color here in the eyeshadow palette it's kind of like a deep brown i'm just gonna put the spoon on my eye okay so there we go A little bit more hopefully you guys are able to see it so there we go you can see that deep brown line and the spoon has left a little bit of crease now I think what I'm going to do next is um, I think I'm gonna wipe my brush off just a little bit and go in with a little lighter color. I think I'm gonna do this one right here next, right next to it, right there. I'm gonna place that spoon right back where I had it. On to the lighter color now. And I am going to kind of shade that one over this one just a little bit and to blend those two together Let's see what we got yeah it kind of blended them out a little bit all right so this is where we are on this eye so far still no color here I like the way those blends are going on up there, so that's pretty. 
Okay, and since it is fall, guys, what I want to do is kind of do something a little bit brighter. So I blended um, the two brown colors and one color that was closer to my skin tone. So now I'm going to use this pretty green right here and let's see what kind of look it gives us but I'm only going to put it in the area where I did not place the spoon so let's see yeah okay got to get in a little deeper all right okay so I'm liking the way that it's looking so far Wow. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys, you see the way that the two colors are distinct, the brown and then the green. I like what it did. Make sure I got it. Yeah. I like that. That made the cut crease a little bit easier. Yeah. Okay, so to finish out the eye, I'm gonna be using my old faithful Milani Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner. It glides on the best. It gives me everything I need. All right, so there is my eyeliner. And to do a little mascara, we're gonna be using one of my favorites. This is the L'Oreal Waterproof Telescopic Mascara. This is what that looks like. We're gonna do that. I love the way this gives my natural eyelashes um a good definition without being too clumpy too cakey none of that kind of stuff and it pulls them out really well all right guys you couldn't see that could you all right I didn't want to do too much on the eye, on the other parts of the eye, because hey, that cut crease is really, really pretty. That green. And I think what I want to do, guys, um, is put a little bit of that original color that I use with the spoon, like right up underneath the eye actually no I'm gonna use the lighter brown color and see what happens yeah look at that yeah that's very pretty mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so I am liking what's going on with the whole spoon cut crease um I've never done a cut crease before here on this channel uh, and to be able to try something that makes something that I've never done before easier I could see me doing this look a lot with the spoon so I am happy I gave it a try it's really pretty um, just a lot of definition between the colors I like that um, it they're not competing and it's not a blend look but like I said it's, it's not competing and I got a little bit of the shimmer green in the eye I love that I think it's really beautiful yeah this was this is a super great idea guys if you haven't tried the spoon cut crease if you haven't tried a cut crease at all you know and especially you know because that's my situation give it a shot I don't think you'll be disappointed it's very very pretty <laughs> all right so the next look I'm going to be using I'm gonna be doing it on the other eye this is sort of an easy smoky eye guys um I got this one from Smitha Deepak she is here on YouTube and she does a great job some of the most beautiful eye looks that you would ever see um, this eye look starts with um, a soft eyeliner pencil and a smudge and a couple of colors added on and you've got an interesting smoky eye so it's only supposed to take about five minutes so we'll see how that goes <laughs> let's get started on this one okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be adding my Piero Primero on the eyelid get that started make sure we have a good sticky base 
And sometimes I use a brush for this, but I'm gonna use my finger in this case. Okay, now that I've got that on, now for this eye look, I'm going to be using the Ditto Venus Palette Limited Edition. This is what it looks like. And here is the inside of the palette. So many pretty colors. I'm gonna have a little fun with this one, so let's see how we're gonna do. Now, what you wanna do first is start by having, like I said, a good smudgeable eyeliner pencil. And this is the Milani Stay Put. So I'm lining the bottom waterline. Perfect. Do that one, and I'm going to be lining the top waterline as well. You're gonna be smudging it out so it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. I did mine a little bit over and a little bit under too. Let's make sure we don't have that weird white line across where there's no product. All right. So once you put that on there, you take a nice smudger brush like this kind of flat but it's smudging out a, a bit so we're gonna smudge that line out see how this one works out guys now when she did the eye on her channel she did like a very neutral color on top uh, I guess so it won't look like you have like a black eye. <laughs> All right. So I smudged it around a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do is go to a neutral color and put it on right on top of that and kind of like blend it out. All right, what I'm gonna do is try this color here. It's called Phobos. It's kind of like almost my skin tone is like a warm brown. I'm gonna grab a brush and top and bottom. And I just went over the original black color with the brown photos color. Like that. which mirror I'm gonna look in <laughs> all right all right so I'm liking the way that that is kind of blending out I think I probably could have done a little bit better on that water line but let's see we're gonna go to the final color to give it just a little shimmer okay so for the final color I am going to just do this color it's called earth right here and I'm just gonna kind of lightly dust that color over the colors that are already on my eye. Yes, now that's pretty. It's just a little shimmer. Okay. You know what I wanna do too, guys? Um, here in the inner corner of my eye, I'm gonna just use this Jupiter color just for fun. Let's see what happens. I like that. Look at that. Okay, so um, for my first strike, for my first time trying it, um, I think it came out pretty well. Um, what I probably, I think, could have done a little bit better. I like the smokiness of it. It's like a little line here and here. I like it, um, but I think I could have done better. It's probably had a little bit better eyeliner that was a little bit softer, I think, because it's smudged, but it didn't smudge as much as I would have wanted it to smudge, but ultimately I do like the eye let's get a little bit of mascara on for that one and see how it works with the smoky the smokiness yeah 
this L'Oreal eye um, mascara is really really good guys look at that yes this is the one that I took that the stuff off and I still got it on here and I just put it on here I like it I think like I said if I would have had an eyeliner that was a little bit uh, more soft I think the look could have been a little bit smokier but ultimately I like the way it came out to say this is my first time doing it <laughs> look at that it's pretty okay guys so um, I touched up my under eyes I added a little bit of baking powder just in case we have a little fall off from the final palette but um, I did do this one on this channel on a previous video this is what I like to call the three color quick blend um, this has been everywhere this has been on YouTube this has been on Instagram and it's so easy when you just want a quick eye look a quick eye blend and for this one I'm going to be using Revolution's integrity wild animal palette this is what it looks like and let me give you the color scheme this is what it is so many really pretty colors I don't even know what I want to do I just dig green I see these pretty reds and this oranges so we're gonna we're gonna see what we can do here so I'm just gonna be using this brush to put all of my colors onto the lids and I'm gonna do um, both of the lids I think what I want to do with this palette um, I want to do something really funky in the middle of the eye um, and just kind of have a little fun with it we've got some yellow some oranges some blue oh that blue is really pretty uh, I think I'm gonna put the blue on the outside okay so I think what I'm going to do is start with the lightest color in the inside uh, I think I'm gonna use this one this one and this one maybe or I might do a pink let's see what happens okay so I'm gonna start with this pink right here front of the eye right here and I'm not gonna be using any um, any of the uh, eye primer because I find when I do this look it's hard to drag the colors together when you've got that sticky eye primer on so I just kind of get a brush that's really precise to do what I need to do green for the last look so um I think I'm gonna do this pink and this blue right here so with this hot pink in the middle Can't work with me guys cuz I don't know what this is gonna do all right so I'm liking that all right just gonna wipe it off again Oh boy, and then I'm going to do, I'm gonna use a detailed brush off for the outside color. I don't know how this is gonna come up, but we're gonna try this pretty royal blue right here. Let's see what happens. Put it straight, but put it a little bit against the crease like that. All right, so we got those three together. All right. So I've got these three on. Okay, now here comes the big part, the blend. Okay, what I'm gonna do is grab that pink right here and put it right up underneath before I blend the eye out. about to happen but we're gonna play around and see what it does all right so now we're gonna blend those three colors together and see what happens I got this um this blending brush it's kind of fluffy let's see let's see if you can see that it's kind of fluffy so we'll see what happens in terms of trying to blend it out all right Kind of giving me a little smoky look. Yeah. Not 
that's pretty. Yeah. Now this detail, got to add a little bit of this back because I think that blue is trying to take over. Got a little fallout, but it's pretty. Yeah, that's very pretty. Mm-hmm, I like it. I like what it did. Yeah. Now let's put a little eyeliner on and some mascara. Eyeliner like that. And now we're gonna do the mascara. What I find about this mascara too, you gotta make sure you don't have too much on the wand. It's a little highlighter. Yeah. I like that one. It's a very pretty eye. Love it. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today's video. That's all I have for you today. I went on ahead and did the second eye with um, the three color quick blend. Um, and I really like the way that the look came out. <laughs> So, um, as always, guys, if you're doing any shopping, make sure you go over to the Lotus Stall Shops Boutique on Poshmark at La Doll LA. Um, it's almost time for some sweater weather, so I've got a lot of great sweater deals right now. Sweaters as low as $8. Um, and um, also, make sure you check out all the fall pieces that we have. We have a lot of stuff that you can mix and match, some pan sets. We've got a great jumpsuit. Um, and we've got some sweaters, you know, some pullovers and a nice great leopard cardigan because leopard's going to be really hot this fall, guys. Um, so make sure you go over there and check that out. And if you don't follow me already, go over and follow me at Elvon Love and Life on Instagram as well as at the Lotus Doll Shop so you can see everything that we've got going on with the boutique as well. So guys, make sure you check out my affiliates down below. I'm really excited. Um, my new, newest affiliate is Abella Eyewear. Um, and if you follow me over on Instagram at Elvon Love and Life, you'll see that I've got a discount code for 30% off if you're interested in anything over there at abellaeyewear.com. So I'm excited about my newest affiliate. Also, make sure you go over and check out um, Atheist skincare and Brighten Smile as well, guys. I'm trying to keep them all together in my head. <laughs> so I appreciate you guys for watching so much. Make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. And also, as always, I love to hear what you guys think about the looks that I created. Um, make sure you comment down below. I'd like to know who's watching. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for checking me out, for rocking with me over here on this channel. Thanks so much, um, and hopefully I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.